Hey everyone, I'm Kim and welcome back to my channel. This is the second video in my series on the quartzite area. In this video, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of quartzite, show you around a little bit, and tell you about some of the shopping, restaurants, and other services available. So please stick around. Quartzsite is located in southwest Arizona on Interstate 10, about 20 miles east of California. It's at the location of a watering hole and stage stop known as Tyson Wells, which operated from 1863 until the 1880s. The Indians weren't too happy with the settlers here, so they occasionally raided the place. So in 1856, Charles Tyson built a fort to protect the miners and the water supply. Afterwards, the area became known as Fort Tyson. He dug another well in 1864. That well is no longer here, but there's a historical marker at the place where many think it was dug. In 1866, Tyson built a stage station, which originally served stages running from Ehrenberg and Prescott. At the time, Prescott was the capital of Arizona. Gold had been discovered in Wickenburg and Ehrenberg, and stages serving those two towns also stopped in Tyson's Well. The Tyson's Well stage station served lines such as the California and Arizona Company, Wells Fargo Express, and it was also on the Butterfield Overton Mail Route that ran between Prescott and Riverside, California. Railroad transportation eventually affected the stage lines, and the town was basically abandoned when the stages stopped running. In 1897, there was a minor mining boom which revitalized the town, and it became known as Quartzsite at the time due to the fact that there's lots of quartz in the area. The mining boom was over by 1900, and the town was essentially abandoned again, leaving only about 20 residents. In my previous video on the La Posa LTVA, I incorrectly said that the population today is about 3,000. It's actually close to 3,600. As you look around Quartzsite, you'll easily notice replicas of camels. So what is this camel connection anyway? Around 1850, the Army had the idea of trying camels as pack animals in a harsh desert environment. A camel can carry 600 pounds up to 30 miles a day and can go a long time without water. So in 1857, the Army sent personnel to the Middle East, and they purchased 33 camels and shipped them to Galveston, Texas. The following year, they went back and purchased 44 more. Along with the camels, they hired camel drivers, and one of the first ones was a man named Haji Ali. Haji Ali was born as Philip Tedro in Smyrna around 1828 to a Greek mother and a Syrian father who was a Christian Arab. When Ali was a young man, he converted to Islam, and when he made the pilgrimage to Mecca, he called himself Haji Ali. The American soldiers nicknamed him Hajali. The Army's experiment with the camels wasn't necessarily unsuccessful, but it didn't work out for at least two reasons. First, the camels were large animals, and they frightened the other pack animals, such as the burros, horses, and mules. And second, Due to Civil War tensions, Congress didn't appropriate further funding for the Camel Corps. In 1864, the camels were auctioned off in California and Texas. Haji Ali bought three of the camels, and he was later discharged from the Army in 1870. He ran a freight service using the camels between the Colorado River and mining operations to the east. It didn't work out so he turned his camels loose in the desert near Gila Bend. Haji became a U.S. citizen in 1880 and used his birth name, Philip Tedro. He married Gertrudis Cerna in Tucson, and they had two daughters. He was hired again in 1885 by the Army to work with pack mules. He later settled in Quartzsite and did some mining and some scouting for the Army. 
Haji died in 1902 and is buried in the Quartzite Cemetery. Now I'd like to take a couple of minutes just to tell you about a few things in Quartzite. This isn't an all-inclusive list, but we'll give you some idea of the services here, shopping, and restaurants. First, let's talk about mail. If you're going to be here over the winter for an extended period, you might want to have a way to get your mail. You have at least two options. First, there's the post office, and, and then there's a little business called Quiet Times, which I happen to use. For a small fee, they'll take delivery of your UPS, FedEx packages and also go to the post office to pick up your mail. There are several RV shops in the area to take care of your RV needs. Pictured here are RV Lifestyles, RV Pit Stop. There's also solar places such as Discount Solar and Solar Bill. As far as shopping goes, there are a number of places. There's Family Dollar and Dollar General. There's the Roadrunner Market and the General Store. And then there's Herb's Hardware. And there's also a combination hardware store, grocery store, and RV supply store. The nearest Walmart is 30 miles north in Parker, Arizona. Several restaurants including Silly Al's Pizza, the Yacht Club, a bakery which here is very good, but it isn't open yet, Taco Mio, a Mexican restaurant, Grub Steak Steakhouse, the Marketplace, it's a little coffee shop with a bakery, and Bad Boys, Three Times Family Restaurant, and then Fast Food, McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Burger King, Pilot Station has a Subway and a Dairy Queen, and the Love Station has a Subway and a Chester's Chicken. A few other services worth mentioning. First, there are at least two laundromats. This one on Main Street has a laundromat on one end and a restaurant on the other, and it also has public showers. The other laundromat that I'm aware of is on Central. Also, if your RV or car or truck needs work, there's Best Auto on Central. They've done some work for me, and they're reasonably priced and do good work. I hope you found this video informative, and I've also included some links below to give you additional information about Quartzite, both its history and today. I hope you like this video and I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please include those in the comments below and click on like, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe as well. I've also included links for my other social media sites below. Thanks again.